Hello, Martina, and welcome to On Coffee. I really appreciate that you accepted my offer to join me. So first thing first, uh, what is your favorite type of coffee? My favorite coffee is uh, espresso. I'm Italian. I was born in Naples, so my coffee is espresso, very, very short. Okay, so my, uh, yesterday I talked with Dr. Tarantino, Paolo Tarantino, and he also uh, told me the same answer, espresso. So, yes, I guess it's an Italian thing. Yeah. So, uh, Martina, you are having an oral presentation uh, during the ESPO this year. Could you please share a bit about your research? Yes, um, during this ESMO, um, I'm going to present an artificial intelligence analysis that uh, me and our group in uh, PISA uh, did on samples of PMMR, metastatic colorectal cancer patients, uh, enrolled in two uh, trials, Satezotribe and Abetric. Enrolling patients uh, receiving uh, uh, chemo and immune checkpoint inhibitors as first-line uh, therapy. Um, previously, we demonstrated that uh, also another biomarker, immunoscore SC, could be predictive of benefit from ICIs. On Monday, we will present another biomarker. It's uh, an AI-based biomarker uh, structured on um, various cell populations like uh, tumor and mitotic cells, but also macrophages, fibroblasts, endothelial cells that um, take takes into account all the features of um, CRC to more microenvironment. That's so I'm really excited to that, present it. Yeah, uh, I congratulate you. Thank you. And may I ask you how you used AI in your research? Uh, yes, it was uh, a very nice collaboration with some colleagues in South Korea. So it was uh, very exciting for me because I never worked with uh, artificial intelligence analysis. And uh, it's a very complicated platform. Uh, it's uh, called a dual branch uh, neural network that analyzes both uh, tissue features and cellular features. Then an overlay between these features is performed and we obtain the final output with a full characterization of our samples. That's so. great. Yeah, and, and that, that sounds very interesting. So, uh, Martina, this year's ESMO venue is huge. How you are managing to go from one place to another? Because, <laughs> for example, yesterday I, I had to go to young oncology sessions, but I was 20 minutes late because I just couldn't find the place and uh, like I was running. Yeah. It's, it's not good. How you are managing that? I'm trying, but uh, I'm keeping uh, left myself lost everywhere but uh, yes i think i have to decide early what to do and then uh, find the places but i will try to do better yes um, and the last question for today martina uh, lots of young uh, specialists are listening to us and having an oral presentation uh, in esmo uh, is, is like it's not a regular thing Uh, what would you suggest to our uh, listeners, what they can do so one day they can also have an oral presentation at ESMO? I think that the most important thing is to have uh, people that mentor you and uh, uh, let you take uh, opportunities and let you uh, learn things and um, face uh, 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 analysis uh, and uh, uh, how translational research works. I think that uh, um, working with people that could uh, uh, learn you things uh, is um, a key to um, have a presentation and to do research. So I'm really thankful to all my group in Pisa and mainly my professor Chiara Gremolini that is mainly thanks to her that I'm here today. Thank you so much. Uh, I wish you success in your future projects and success here in your oral presentation. Grazie. <laughs> Un salute. Grazie. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Anka Daily on YouTube. Hit the bell icon to stay updated.